I'll, I'll, good, good call. I'll, we'll, we'll keep it good pushing. Call. We'll keep it pushing. Uh, but man, this next fight, banger, banger, potentially fight of the night. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, and that's and saying I thought it something. Might be. That's saying something with all the the terrific fights. But this fight was just unreal. Like, I, I've been watching Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah, and, like, me too, dude. I good love show. it. It's such a good show. And like. Uh, this fight reminded me of like a fucking karate scene in a movie. Just like the amount of volume and the, oh, the yeah. shots these guys were taking. Like, because I remember when I was literally watching Cobra Kai last night. Fin actually finished it up, finished this season. But, uh, <laughs> nice, nice. But uh, it, it, you know, get, brace, brace yourself for the end of season two. But uh, but there's oh, a shit. there's a big fight scene and just everybody's just eating like insane levels of shots like like probably <laughs> but they have compu box on this Cobra Kai scene the, the the stats would be like some Covington level output and like uh, I'm in I'm and, in and I'm I, and sold I was, yeah and I was just like like you know me and my mixed martial arts breaking down stuff was just like oh you know it's unrealistic oh but, you'd uh, be asleep with seven shots but uh but <laughs> god damn it that's how I felt watching this Nathaniel Wood Casey Kenny fight I was just like like the, the chins these guys showed the cardio these guys showed it was video game shit it was really impressive did uh, you. Did you look up the compu score from the first round? Because I had to because I was literally asking every single other person in the house, who did you score that round for? Because I was making him watch it because it was so active. I was like, no, no, shut up. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. You're this fight real. is a fight. You're real. I mean, I, you know, at that point, I was already like five claws in, and I was telling people like, hey, yeah, this know, fight's Ken, a banger. Kenneth the was next talking fight's politics. a banger. Fillmore was building ox carts and uh... – Yeah, you know what, what I mean? the hell? Yeah. Greg was asking me the dumbest questions. Okay, but there we go. Yeah, but, like, I thought Casey Kinney, as you remember when he fought Heli Alatang, those body kicks were insane. Yeah, He started yes. landing some nasty body kicks in this one, too. But back to my compu strike point was that and the first time it like, three weeks ago. Sorry, just did you, we, we just no, broke yeah. down the, Casey yeah, Kinney Yeah, and Wood, Wood fought a month ago. He fought yes, one yes, card we, before we, Kinney. We, we have both done these guys recently on BG Boys, but continue. Absolutely. Right. Oh, no, you're good, bro. I was just going to say that it, the first round, 48-49. In strikes, Casey Kenny landed forty nine. Yeah. Nathaniel Wood landed forty eight. So, like, wow. how do you score that? Yeah, um, and they both threw like one hundred and ten. So, their striking accuracy is almost the same. Striking defense almost the same. I'll, no I'll takedowns. Be, I'll be real, bro. I fucking fence road McGee on on it. my notes say round one banger all caps. Uh, Wood volume Kenny power, but that was I with scored my it to eye Kenny. Test. That was with my eye test. Um. I, that, I didn't look at the stats. So it's like, honestly, like, and, I, and I'm not trying to do hindsight 2020 here. Um, my eye test told me that Wood had more volume in live when I was watching it, right? But yeah, now I think he threw we, seven more strikes in the first round. So, so actually, wow. So my eyes didn't deceive me at first. I was no, like, you were right, same, but it was like, but, you know, 117 to 110. Like, that's an amazing difference. So, uh, but you're right. Using the information I now know and – like I said, I, I didn't have the luxury of looking at stats while I was watching it. I, I, in hindsight, twenty twenty, I think it's Kenny Casey Casey Kenny won round one. I think that's fair to say because the the strike numbers were so close and they they were so close that you can't give it to Wood based on volume. And in my opinion, right. that's all Wood had going for him was volume and pace. Um, but Kenny was definitely without like any controversy. He was landing the bigger, cleaner, more impactful, damaging shots. And I think it's important to note too that out of Woods' forty-eight strikes landed, twenty were leg kicks. So he landed twenty-eight to the body and head, whereas Kenny landed forty to the body and head. So like leg kicks are deceiving. That's what I, that's what we're saying. Opening the card is like you don't count a leg kick necessarily the same, even though it does a lot of damage and may open up the fight in a different way, it's almost like money in the bank. Like, I'm not scoring that the same in the first as I am in the third when the guy is visibly can't walk. And it's important to note, too, that the judges don't have access to these stats. So no, I mean, they can't see combi strike numbers. That's super important That's to note. super important. Same, same as the angles we talked about earlier. Real they quick, can't see numbers, do they you have think they angles. should be able to? Do you think that? I, I, I think it would help. I think it's kind yeah, of ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. How do absolutely. they not have access to the most pertinent information? You would think that they would always have a screen, like we do with our ESPN app, that's just constantly yeah. tracking the stats up. Like, what always, always, that? always. Right. 
I guess they don't want him to lean on it too much. They're like, it will, I guess at that point, the, the, the UFC, I, I could see it being like, well, if you guys are just going to use the CompuStrike numbers, then we'll just have – Then we'll just call off numbers and say fuck judges. And, and, but you know what? I'm kind of in the camp of I'm not terribly opposed to that. But I'm also I like I like the idea of robot umps in baseball too. So I'm just that guy. Like I, I well, robot strike zone makes sense. Makes I'll just so say much that out sense. loud. Like that just makes sense. It, well, and after all the hosings, or first we, base, after first all the, all the hosings we've seen in MMA, or I mean, are, is the the art the case the you know the argument. I don't know. I just think but, that's where but, we're at. But think about it this way too. Like if Corey Anderson lands five jabs and Rumble Johnson lands one uppercut. It's five to one, but Anthony Johnson landing an uppercut, you might be asleep. But, but, bro, like, even the real judges would still score that differently. There's some judge out there that would score the five jab. Well, yeah, that's true. I guess I picked a bad example because Rumble but, Johnson's going to no, KO that's, you. But, but that's, the, that's, the, that's the issue we have. There's no good example because every fight's so unique and every yeah. human being so subjective. There's no – golden example to to draw from there really isn't which i i like i said i don't know i i i like to think two three moves ahead if you if you say let the judges use you have the compu strike numbers available to them the next like counter argument and i don't know if there's a union i don't but some asshole out there is going to be like oh well then what do you even need us for like like right i know you're right i mean you're so right that's just the way the the world world works Yeah, so, but... Okay, but, so wait, it, it, we both score the first for Kenny? Yeah, but it, live, I, I fence rode and pussyfooted around, uh, but I, I, I here now speaking to you, first round to Kenny, yes. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, even if you scored it for Wood, like, we can get into that just to, you know, go over it. But how'd you score the second? Because the second... Now, I did call this as well. Their pace was so crazy in the first round that I told everyone in the room, by the time they hit seven and a half minutes total flight time or two and a half in the second, you're going to see a pace drop off. And we did. It's like something's got to give, right? Uh, right. Like someone's uh, got to get tired. I – and it's funny. That's the kind of the transition you led me into with because I gave round two to Wood. Me too. Lo- Looks largely fresher. Largely because he was fresh. I literally – that's what I have Bingo. written down. And his I'm, volume. what I have written down. So he yeah. had higher volume and was still yep. fresher. That's very – like, like it yep. wasn't just that he was fresher and he was pussyfooting around. He was fucking – kept the foot on the gas – and was still had, was the fresher man. So like I'm fully I'm fully with you. Like I don't think there's a way you can give round two to Casey Kenny. No. And honestly, I thought Casey Kenny was in trouble because I thought he had energy jumped too much in the first round, and that he, this was going to be the third round for him was like the end of the second, which is where I thought Wood was having his best performance. And then I, I want to take another quick pause, quick little you know rabbit hole to go down real quick. So so I've been skateboarding more lately, right? And I've uh, you know been just watching more videos, learning more about it, and um. The, the, the thing about skateboarding, and, I, and I, you, some people would say, oh, there's no comparison to skateboarding to fighting, but and how it's judged, there totally is. Um, but in skateboarding, it's more acknowledged than it is in fighting. In fighting, we try to pretend like it doesn't happen, and this is what I'm getting at here. Oh, and, like bias? Like, no, style. Like, oh, and okay. how a guy can make something look better than somebody else. Um, oh, okay, like street versus vert. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, bro, two guys – could do a kickflip and one guy's kickflip is better because well why is it better they both did a kickflip because he made it look better it's oh like it's, like Nigel Houston's technique is just damn near perfect on every trick he hits so well, it looks but, so much better but in skateboard there's an actual term for it like the judges will tell you we're grading style they call it style oh like we're like who like makes that. it look good like like I, I mean like we've that. seen it in football I mean two guys could break a tackle but one guy just does it saucier, makes it like certain guys can make shit look easy. And, and what I'm getting at here to bring it full circle is in fighting, like sometimes like in, in round one, how I how in real time I kind of leaned wood, he made it look better. Like whether that's fluid, yeah. fluidity of motion or how we say in round two, he looked fresher. Like, it looks uh, fresher. I think that was most important to me was that he looked like he had more energy but, on but every strike and movement. But guys that just, like, make shit look better. Like, yeah, there's absolutely. There's certain guys that the compu strike numbers could be identical, but he made it look better. But and, that might speak to the cleanliness of their technique, right? Like, Dominic Cruz is a guy that's known for having really clean technique. Yeah, no, and, and, and I think whenever there's – whenever we can avoid it, I think we avoid it. But I think there's these human – moments when we're looking at these fights and we're judging these fights where 
sometimes, like, if it's close, one guy looked better doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I just kind of want to get that in there. Maybe I'm tripping. Well, Maybe I've been watching too many skate videos. But No, no, you're right. And here's a great example is Whitaker Adesanya, when they fought for the title, I might have scored the first round of Whitaker, but Israel always looks better in the exchanges. It, it he happens, just looks bro. better. It happens. It happens a lot in boxing. It happens like uh, – I don't know. It, it, it's a factor, like I said, in skating, they actually have a name and a category for it in their judging column. I appreciate that. Like, but, they acknowledge that it's a real thing. But in fighting, it's like it's like the dirty little secret. Like, we all try to pretend like, like I don't know. It's like it's like you're out with your girl and you're trying not to look at the hot chick over there with her tits out. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, and like, it's, like, it's like, look how she's dressed. Look how she looks. Like, I'm not supposed to look. Like, that was the whole point of her looking like that and wearing that was that we would look. Like and, you're and, uh, denying me the simple human gratification? What are we doing? And I feel like that happens with fight judging. I do, but 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 all right. So enough rapid hope. So 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 we both have it. One, 19, 19. One, going into the third, just to kind of bring it full circle, reiterate, get back into the breakdown. Um, absolutely, it's a beautiful then, fight so far. Man, amazing fight. Just visually, like I said it looks like something out of a kung fu movie. It looks almost fake. This the the variety yeah, of dude. strikes, the pace is. The chins on these guys. The chins, the chins, too. Phenomenal. It was like a movie shit. Um, and then round three, how'd you, how'd, you, how'd you break it down? And then I'll give you mine. Man, so I thought the takedown for Kenny was huge. We hadn't seen really any takedowns. He actually got him down, controlled him for about a minute and a half, which was like more yeah. control time than anyone had had so far yeah, in these 50 50 exchanges. And now I thought Wood got up and looked good and might have won very slightly on the striking over the last three minutes of the round or two and a half. But I don't think it was enough to outdo – Kenny's control and strikes he landed while he was on top. For sure. Um, so yeah, I scored it to Kenny. I, I gave it to Kenny, it, Kenny for almost the exact same reason you did. The takedown was huge. And then even the other takedown, it's just the overall kind of shift to the grappling um, paid pay, pay div, dividends for him. Uh, Kenny, Casey Kenny gets the unanimous decision. Now, I now it's I agree that Kenny won, but I totally disagree with that unanimous 30-27. They gave Kenny The 30-27, whoever scored blew that. Blew my mind. I, ha- Okay, I'm so glad you said that because I wrote in my notes, ask Dom about round two. No, yeah, I, if you, for sure. Because you scored it for Wood, I scored it for Wood. How could anyone score it for Kenny? It, it ends up kind of not mattering really, but it does, it, but it doesn't, right? Because the first was so back and forth that if yeah, anyone had been no, swayed, we're talking about maybe another split decision. Here. No, the fact that three guys saw that at 30-27 blows my mind. But um, Oh, no, 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 only one, only one. It was 29 oh, I thought it for was two un- of them. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, for some reason, I thought the judges were unanimous 30 27. Unanimous in their decision, but their scoring was slightly oh, okay. different. Okay. All right. For sure. That makes me feel better. I have less yeah, no, yeah. 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 I, yeah. Yeah. That, no, that one judge scored 30 27. I circled it and I said, ask Dom. Because I was like, sure. there's no way. There's no All way. Right, well, we'll be right back for the Stephen Strube and Tui Tai Tai Tui Vasa and then the rest of the main.